Good morning. morning. How are we today? Morning. I haven't seen most of you since the year began, so happy new year. Happy year. <laughs> Though I don't like the fact that the students are sitting at the back. Students, you should be in front because this is more of a learning experience for you than for the rest of us. Okay, uh, my name is Maria Natkunda. I am a communications and marketing specialist. I currently work with New Grid CRB as the Chief Operations Officer. And I, I love storytelling. Um, one of my established hobbies is that I am a filmmaker with a, an award for Best Documentary from the Uganda Film Festival 2022. And I think the topic I'm talking about is not new to all of us. We all know what a story is, not so. In, what, in our own understanding, we know what a story is, yeah? And uh, in simple terms, a story is just a narrative or a sequence of events that uh, a story is a series of uh, it's a narrative with a series of events that are told in a sequence that has a beginning, a middle, and an end. In simple terms, every story that you'll see, whether it's a film, even if it's in a song, it will always have a beginning. There will be a, you know, a middle part there, the climax, maybe a protagonist, and antagonist there, and then it will end. But storytelling in itself gives us um, a huge opportunity to put things across. And just to look through um, a few examples that you might be familiar with. We all know who Nelson Mandela is, yes? Show of hands, so that I know I have people in the room. Yeah, Nelson Mandela, how do you know about Nelson Mandela? Because I doubt many of us here grew up who lived in South Africa. We had a story about him, yes? We, the story of creation, we all, if you're a Christian like me, you know you were created by God. How, how did you get to know that you were created by God? There was a story somewhere written in a book that we call the Bible. And then, okay, slides are... One of the greatest people um, as a speaker and as a storyteller, one of the greatest storytellers that I know is Jesus. When Jesus was teaching most of the things that he taught us, the, you know, the lessons, the, 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 the admonitions and everything, he always used stories, yes? Parables, as, we, as they are commonly known in the Bible. He never said, okay, you will do this, don't do this, don't do that. He always used a story to illustrate the point. And the other person that I can think of who uses storytelling very, very powerfully is a Nigerian author called Chimamanda Ngozi. Yeah? She once talked about the danger of one story, where she, talk, she shared about her life experiences and about this household they had, I think a houseboy, and what they were always told as uh, young children was, I know they come from a poor place, we are helping them, we are doing what, but then one time she got the opportunity to visit where that boy was coming from. And the story was different. The reality on ground was different. Yes, he had come to work in the city, but they were not as badly off as it had been portrayed where she came from. So storytelling has a lot of influence. To bring it even closer to home, I come from Kabale. Any people here from Kabale? Have you, you know Mosei Kagwemel? Yes. yes. He always told us stories about our you know, ancestry. Powerful stories, whether you met him on the street, whether you had him on radio, wherever you bumped into him, he always had a story to tell that would tell you about the culture of the, the Banyachi Jersey. And then children's stories. This one might sound funny, but uh, who knows why that chicken scratched the ground? Who knows that story? No one. Huh? I see a hand there. Why does the chicken, <laughs> why do the hens scratch the ground? Looking for something. Looking for something. Do you know what in particular? 
think it was a needle. A needle. <laughs> Story has it that the eagle and the hen used to be best friends. Until the hen borrowed a needle from the eagle and then lost it. So the hen is always scratching looking for that needle. But because, well, she had never found it, the eagle, you know, picked a, a grudge. And that is why the eagles eat the chicks. <laughs> it was always a hilarious story. But well, you know, it, it, it entertained us at the time. And then we have so many traditional stories that we've grown up on. From Buganda, I remember the story of Chintu. Hmm? There was another one about Nsanji. I just remember the song, I don't remember the entire narrative. Yeah? Nsanji, who knows that one? Maybe you would, uh, I could look for you during break time and you help me remember it. Who knows the story of Nsanji? I had someone say Nsanji. Yeah? But those, uh, if you look at the moral of all those stories, they were always teaching us something. So what does that say about storytelling? And looking at the key words of our discussion today, storytelling is just really the art of using language and images and other forms of expression to convey a narrative or a message. And then, when you look at what communication is, it is really the process of sharing information and feelings with others through language, symbols, and other forms of expression. And a combination of these two gives you a different delivery and helps you become even more effective in your communication. So, why storytelling? A few people I can quote say, stories, we, the stories we tell literally make the world. If you want to change the world, you need to change your story. You know the story you also tell yourself determines what your life, how your life turns out. If the story you always tell yourself is positive, you'll probably, you'll most likely live a happier life, yeah? But if you're always telling your, yourself a negative story, you know, you have a kitty party going on in your head, yeah? Your life will, you'll always manifest negative uh, realities. And another person says, Robert Marquis says, storytelling is the most powerful way put ideas into the world. If that is the case, what then are the benefits of storytelling? Storytelling is a universal language. Anywhere you go, if they picked you up from here and they threw you in which country? Okay, maybe we are familiar with Chinese. They threw you in like Vietnam. You probably don't know the language they speak there, but somehow you will manage to Share a bit about yourself, about where you come from, through a story. You'll tell about your homeland. You'll tell about, you know, the things that you, uh, that you eat, the food and everything. And that narrative brings, brings uh, people together. So you're, you're able to make friends, you're able to build connections. So it doesn't matter where you go. As long as you have your story, you'll be able to connect with people. And then storytelling comp simplifies complex information. I remember f in school, history was one of the subjects I liked because it had stories and well, I had to read because I've always loved uh, reading. But there were parts of history that were really difficult. I remember in Olive there was, was it the course of the railway in East Africa? Who remembers that one? Nobody studied history in Olive yeah. You remember the course of the railway. Where was it starting from? From Mombasa. All the way, I think, up to Kasese. Yes. And we had to name the years at each point. You know, in 19 what? It was, always, it was so hard for me to remember all those years. And our teacher helped us craft a story. In literature, it's called personification. So each year became a person. So we started with the first year, who moved from Mombasa and went to the next stop and met this one. They became friends, then they moved on together, and then this person... Knew. So it became easier to remember, and I, I remember I never ever failed that number, even at UNEB. Why? Storytelling. Storytelling also inspires action. Sometimes you can be feeling low or going through whatever it is that you're going through, 
and you hear a story about someone else's experience or some what you know amazing things somebody else is doing out there and you're inspired to also make a difference where you come from you know if you visited um the, the documentary we did that we won an award for was about karamoja's first female doctor she fought to stay in school when the family wanted to marry her off when she was young and now as the first female doctor serving her community she has inspired so many other young girls to also fight for the right to stay in school that is a positive action that has been inspired by um, a story the other thing is that it improves mental health this ties into the previous point inspiring action if you are going through something and you're thinking you know my world has ended this is like the worst thing that has that can ever happen to me and then you hear somebody else who has gone through probably what is worse than you you're going through and they've come through yeah they've pulled through and they are you know still living they're still contributing positive to the world and at least they are probably at least they are negative experience to champion social change you will be inspired and uh, that will help you know come stress come anxiety and all that so stories are very very good and that is why they also used on children to help them deal with the different issues that they go through because you know as younger children everything you're experiencing is really a first experience so the students we have here for most of them it might be their first experience to come and interact with a large audience so maybe being asked questions about themselves is a first experience but when they hear that you too went through that and you you know learned a lot and has helped to build a career they will feel better about themselves they'll be inspired to go back and deal with whatever they are dealing with and to share a bit of what research says yeah there's a survey conducted uh, there was a survey conducted by the National Storytelling Network which said that 98% said that storytelling is an effective tool for teaching and 95% said that storytelling can help improve students' learning and comprehension skills. I think I shared an example on that, how it helped me to also pass a particular subject. And there's so many other subjects that uh, you can pass with storytelling. And then according to a report, by docs and pitch decks with a compelling story and emotional content always uh unfunding by 19% more than all the others and another study by stanford shows that uh, when you're just using data and statistics you're most likely only to get 5% of people's attention and that's what you'll only remember 5% of what you say but if you tie a story into what you're presenting people will remember more of what you're presenting so how then can we use storytelling to better our own experiences one of the ways that we can use storytelling in our work in our business is product marketing many of us here are developers right yeah so as a developer first of all you're a product yourself yeah and then you might create something else that you can sell and people buy but how do you put it out there how do you tell you know the potential buyers that hey i am here i do this work or i have this product that i've worked on product marketing so with storytelling if you're able to tell you know that how the how you, how you came up with this product what problem it is solving you'll be able to hook people to want to use your product or service the other point is which is a very important one for us when we are raising funding we need money to run our businesses we need money to grow we need money to scale but how do you step out there and, in, and convince an investor to give you their money your story yeah your story is the one tool that can help you uh you know be able to even get more more contribution to your business in terms of funding in terms of uh, you know so many other things and there was an example i read uh, online that says that m popa has used storytelling and raised over 160 million dollars in funding m popa solar i think is a kenyan company so if they can do it we too can do it the other thing that we can use story storytelling for is uh, in user experience design 
because you always want to create something, a product, a service that people will actually use, that will actually speak to um, different people. But then how will you do it? You use stories to gauge how people might interact with your product or service and then tailor it to their needs. And then also employee training. As we grow, as we, you know, we build businesses or wherever we go, we need to be equipped with different skills. You know, you need to understand what the company does, uh, where they are going. The best way they can do that is through a story. Other, uh, otherwise, you would walk in and everything is boring. Yeah, you don't know their history. You don't know the, what they are, where they are planning to go. And a story is what helps to relay that. And as I wind up, when we use storytelling. It helps us to create more engaging and memorable experiences, not only with our families and friends, but with um, the different people that we interact with out there, with our customers, with our investors, with our uh, employees. And it also helps us to build stronger connections. Because the story helps you appeal to, to someone emotionally, it helps you appeal to a group emotionally. Uh, we are in March, the Women's Month. Why does it trend so much? Stories, yeah? We hear of so many stories of women doing remarkable things. And that helps us connect and want to associate with such people and to do more. And we learn from their lives by learning about their stories. Thank you very much for your audience. Thank you very much. Uh, do you have any questions?